Hi Aries, it's Al here to do your January 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every Aries who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. I apologize that these are late, but you know, um, I got so much going on. But anyhow, let's get into it. So we're going to ask the cards, what does Aries career what do, what do the cards have to say for Aries career and finance I hope that everyone's having a really good uh, start to the new year happy new year two cards okay bottom of the deck the hangman Hierophant, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, King of Swords. So, for some of you, you you are within an established uh, corporation, career setting, job. Uh, also, some of you are in school here. Or you're learning something or learning about something. Um, it's, it's two different messages here. For some of you, this is going to be newness. A new career. A new path that you're learning about. That you feel like it fulfills you on an emotional level. It may be even some spiritual practice. The Seven of Swords and the King of Swords. I feel like in regards to a boss or someone that's over you. You feel like there, there is some talking behind your back. There is some backbiting. There is some jealousy. There's some conflict that has always been there in this this setting, this corporation, this job setting. Uh, and you feel as if sometimes you need to have a plan of action in regards to how you deal with this person. Um, you see things happening here and you're just resting in suspended animation. Meaning, I'm just letting things go as they will. Because I am or I need to devise a plan of action, seven of swords, to in regards to maybe someone of authority. Or I need to make a, a decision um, in regards to a job, career setting. Money is stable. It may be a bit up and down. But it is sta it, it, it stabilizes quickly. Um, you're definitely having the courage to have newness here in your career setting. Okay. Two of Swords, yeah. So there might be some decision. You intuitively, instinctually know which way to go. But it is a very hard decision because it's a cutting away of a, uh, a decision. Uh, a choose, a choosing, a choice. Let's see. Nine of Wands. Um, you may be making a decision in regards to a taxing situation, job setting situation that's been drama filled. There's been trouble and jealousy in the dynamic. You have energetically separated yourself because you're in decision mode. You're trying to devise a plan of action to maybe sever ties, ace of swords, and have something new. Because there's newness here and then there's, you know, an ending. So with an ending, a beginning. Right. Two of pentacles. Some of you are trying to figure out where do I place all my energy, effort, and time to. I'm... Um, 
dividing myself amongst uh, two very real options. Um, a business deal that may not be so favorable. A love affair that may not be so favorable. Um, once again, a decision needs to be made in regards to two or more, but two very real manifested options here. So, one more card. All right. Yeah. Page of Swords says get more information in regards to do your own snooping about this situation. Death card under the bottom of the deck. Because there is an ending and a beginning for some of you. The advice here is to devise plan of action. Look at the situation for what it is. Maybe from afar. You're going to have to have a... You're going to have to sever ties or have that new start by way of communicating. Oh, I no longer want to work here. I put in my two weeks, month notice, whatever. Uh, in regards to two very real options, uh, do your research in regards to making, um, it looks like an, a lateral upward move, you know, so, because there's maybe complete transformation here. Some of you may be going out on your own. Okay, so let's see what love looks like. Career finance looks really good. It's just a lot of decision to be made there. Okay. Um... Yeah, so let's see love. What can you tell Aries in regards to love? Take it. Okay, bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords. So, it's the ending, the culmination of... Um, it doesn't get any worse. It's over. Now you can... You can rest and dwell in the ending. Or you can have that new start, that Ace of Swords. Uh, the idea... The spoken word, the thought to spoken word with the Ace of Swords. Let's see what this is about in love. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Chariot, the Moon, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So, this is a situation where Aries, none of your energy is here. Um, water and pentacle. And uh, air. Um, Before I say that, I want to pull mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah Okay, so Aries, you could be dealing with someone who wants their cake and eat, wants to have their cake and eat it too. Uh, they want to hold on to status, status or the status quo. Um, they know that they have options. They know that they very well may be a cheating spouse, a person who makes promises. To fulfill none of them. This is a narcissist. This is a person who. 
needs to get in control of the light and the dark, the moon, the sun and the moon. Look. Sorry. So this card governs Cancer. The moon governs Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's the moon and the sun here on the crown. The crescent moon, then the star, the sun. So this is a person who needs to find control. This is a person who has deep-rooted uh, emotional issues in regards to what they put their energy, effort, and time into. Someone you may be dealing with, or this could be you, Aries, who who is done with the situation or knows that a situation is, is final, it's complete, but they're, they're still there. They also have something or someone else outside of a committed connection. Something in regards to someone being partnered, married, but having separation from or knowing that this is the ending someone caused an ending is trying to have strength and trying to rebuild or tame themselves this is a person that's not in control that's not emotionally stable this is a person who I don't want to say runs hot and cold, but this is a person who, if they can have options, two or more or whatever, they can rest easy in it. They can work around this situation. But it looks as if Aries or the other person has ended something. Aries has gained control and tamed the desire, the, the want to have this so badly with this person and now the other person is resting in uh, indecision, uh, anxiety, sleepless nights. They don't know if they, if you're, if they could get you back. Ace of Pentacle, and then the Star card, and then the Death card, and then the Six, excuse me, the Lovers. Right. This person, I think with Aries, and it could be the other way around, Aries walking away, or maybe everybody's here. Someone else walking away. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, whatever. Um, with Aries either walking away or the other person walking away gets it. The uh, gets the ball rolling on maybe someone coming back. Whoever walked away, the other person is now trying to make a decision in regards to starting anew with Aries. Because it is their wish fulfillment to have this, to have, to completely transform the relationship. It looks as if it was open-ended. It was in and out. It was a person that's trying to have their cake and eat it too. Someone shut that out or shut it down. And now someone has to make a, the choice, a decision in regards to love, in regards to two individuals possibly um, a fair and balanced decision a decision maybe in regards to someone from their past a decision that brings them a, a bit of calmness healing and peace a decision where they feel like they can be victorious and uh, maybe even marry this other person Two of Wands. This is 
someone who is actively choosing a new path. The, I think Aries walked away from a dynamic where Aries wasn't getting what they wanted. So I'm on rising, okay? But it looks like that person is coming back to, um, or, or they're making the, they definitely are heavy thought about coming back. They're not sure if Aries will accept. This could be someone you have children with or someone who wants to have children with you. It could be someone from your past really feeling like this is a person you have history with. So, let's go ahead and get some advice for Aries and close out the reading. It, I mean, it looks good in regards to Aries has just gained control um, and, and this other person is spinning because Aries is now either shut down or vice versa. You guys fill in the blank how it resonates with you. Sobriety. You're stronger than you know. Hobbies. Sentimental feelings. Keep the faith. Memories at the bottom of the deck. Some of you just have sentimental feelings about an ending. Either you you put it into motion in regards to this ending or the other party did. Um, but whomever did, now the sentiment is there. It's like, you know, I miss this person. Memories here. Um, I feel like Aries walked away, but of course, and, and they're trying to start anew and trying to keep strong and move forward. But it feel like someone's coming back. And um, this could be like a soulmate, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to. This is someone you have history with. They're coming back because uh, they understand now that they can't have you and the other option or the other options. In the near future. No. No answer. You're ready. Nice. Forgiveness if you believe. Yep. Okay. In the near f no. What's this no answer? I'm not gonna clarify all the cards because we've been here forever. Where are we? 18 minutes right? Okay. What's this no answer? Wow, no. Will of Fortune. The will turns there. This is a 10. This is the ending and now the start of something new. No. Will of Fortune. Okay. It might be in regards to your career. No, don't just end something because what we saw in career is an ending and a beginning don't just end it abruptly um do as you are be the hangman waiting for the perfect time the right time to act the will of fortune says is is destined it's fortunate um it's fate so wait yeah wow four of wands yeah in regards to your stability and um in regards to what you the foundation that you'll build it says wait this is this just says wait you know no don't act don't force the will to turn by by way of being hasty knight of pentacles under the deck nice um let things happen naturally 
I'm also hearing if, if you feel like there's going to be a, a firing or a layoff. Don't get all up in arms about it. Be the seven of swords. Have a plan of action in place. A plan that you're making in secret. So that when things are exposed, you're ready. Okay. Wow. You're ready. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Wow. The hangman says you're ready. But right now, be the hang, the hanging man. Be suspended. Look at it from a different perspective. Don't be so hasty in regards to making a move. Forgiveness. What is the forgiveness card? What is this in regards to for Aries? Forgiveness. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Mm. And Aries shows up. Ooh, this is getting hot and heavy. All the same cards in a different deck. Um, someone wants to restart, reignite uh, the flame with you, Aries. And re yeah, they look at you as the Nine of Pentacles type of woman or man. The Empress, a person that's very abundant, cre creative, could be the mother of. Um, they want longevity with you. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. They see you as sultry, seductive, sexy, outgoing, charismatic, funny. A person who's involved in several different things at one time uh, can get things done. This is like the soccer mom on steroids in regards to every aspect of our life not just with children the lovers someone wants forgiveness they've made the choice that you are the person they want they can't stop thinking about you they feel left out they would like to be your husband or was your husband at one time you guys may be separated could be uh, yeah, a very um, intellectual, smart person. They want to completely change things. Um, they fantasize, dream about, daydream about you. <sighs> if you believe, what is if you believe for Aries? At one point, they may have chosen to be with someone else or be in a different dynamic. If you believe, Five of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this is in regards to some Aries out there trying to push something forward. This Aries feels like there is lack. Okay, lack of. You fill in the blank. Um, which makes them fearful, scared, uh, lower vibrational, in survivor mode, um, do or die. This could also be somebody feeling like their money or their credit or credit worthiness isn't where it needs to be. Eight of Wands says have strength and the courage to move things forward in regards to communication and or learning about a situation uh, and how to press forward there will be rapid communication this is in regards to some areas trying to push something forward i don't feel like it's love here right if you believe this card um, yeah page of wands yeah It'll be a message to maybe to go a new route. Um, Page of Cups. Wow. 
this is uh, also some like spirit messages if you believe be completely in tune with spirit and at a place where you can hear from Queen of Swords because you've been through a lot two of pentacles this is someone not knowing or feeling like they don't know which way to go they're gonna have to make a decision mm, okay this could be anything this could be job this could this doesn't really look like love this looks like somebody making a life altering change here it could be also someone making bidding bidding on a home selling a home buying one okay all right so aries if you feel like this message resonated with you for you please um, request your own personal reading extended readings will not happen this month but i will try to get them back started next month um, also take advantage of the $10 one question reading go over to the website book that um, if you're looking for something quick and, and fast or book a full reading where you can gain clarity about uh, what's going on for the new year okay Aries know that I'm praying for you pray for me as well all of my information is below uh, my website my email address you can book and pay at website uh, so you can save yourself a step by uh, not emailing me and asking how can I book and pay um, I will gladly direct you to the website but know that that's where you'll you know be directed to so go there first okay all right Aries um, that's it take care um, I'm gonna try to do some some lives this year to um, I don't know, I'm all over the place. I really am. Um. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, take care guys. Bye.